do something. Good idea. I'm gonna get a teacher. Hello everyone, and welcome to Famous Now. Today in this brand new video, we're gonna talk about Cobra Kai Season 4. Fans waiting for the fourth season of Cobra Kai should expect to see the series streaming on Netflix by the end of the year. When the hit series made the move from YouTube Red to Netflix in 2020, three seasons had already been filmed, though season three didn't premiere until the first of this year in its new home. But we now know that season four is done filming. Be aware that if you did not watch season three, the following will be full of huge spoilers. Cobra Kai fans have something big to look forward to this year, as it's been confirmed by Netflix that Season 4 will launch in Q4 2021, and every clue seems to point in one direction, December 17th or 19th. Yes, Cobra Kai Season 4 will be released later this year. Netflix has confirmed it. So you see it land in the final quarter of this year, meaning between October 2021st and the end of December 2021st. Are you ready guys? Let's go! But before we start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Plus, turn on notifications so you won't miss any of the new videos. Now, let's talk about why we need a Miyagi original spin-off series. Are you ready for a Karate Kid universe? The word on the street is that the showrunners of the breakout hit TV series are looking to expand. Let's hope they consider it a Cobra Kai spin-off focus on Mr. Miyagi. Netflix execs must be celebrating. After all, their big investment in YouTube's Cobra Kai series has paid off in a really big way. Right now, the entire world has Karate Kid fever. By expanding on the popular 80s film franchise, the team has managed to explore all the different aspects of the various characters. We've learned that Johnny Lawrence actually has a good heart. We've learned that Daniel LaRusso wasn't as innocent as he first appeared to be in the films. We even learned that John Kreese wasn't always a bad guy. But most important of all, we learned that karate still has the power to influence and change a community. That said, there is one aspect of the franchise we'd love to learn more about. Mr. Miyagi's backstory. I feel so guilty, you know, like, like he did everything for me. And I didn't do anything for him. Even though the wise sensei has appeared in flashback clips throughout the first three seasons, due to the passing of Pat Morita in 2005, it won't be possible for any new Miyagi scenes moving forward. What is possible, however, is casting a younger Mr. Miyagi and exploring his backstory in a Cobra Kai spin-off series. Just think about it. Based on the new information we received in Season 3, there's so much we don't know about the lovable karate instructor. What was it like for him growing up in Okinawa, Japan? How did his training go? What was Mr. Miyagi like as a youth? How did he meet Yuki? Was he always so wise? How did he end up in America? What was his life during World War II like? There's a lot more to his journey leading up to the first Karate Kid film. And personally, I'd love to hear every last bit of it. Not just the tiny bits we've had the privilege of hearing through Daniel's story. Maybe that was it, huh? <laughs> Mr. Miyagi deserves a Cobra Kai spin-off that begins in 1930s Japan and shows the origins of this beautiful martial art. Citing Breaking Bad as a particular source of inspiration, the Netflix show's executive producer and co-showrunner, Hayden Schlossberg, has expressed an interest in creating more spin-offs too. Our hope is that we can really expand this whole Karate Kid universe and reinvigorate the fan base so that it's a story we can continue telling," said Sloshberg. We do have an endgame for Cobra Kai, but we always compare it to our other favorite show, Breaking Bad, and how they're able to keep the story going with Better Call Saul and El Camino. We spend time with Kreese's backstory in Season 3, but we couldn't have spent more time with Kreese's backstory. We have so many things to tell in those half-hour episodes, it ends up not being enough. We're just having a fun time as friends, getting to work in the sandbox of the Karate Kid and how to keep it going. Every permation of spin-off or deep dive crosses our minds. It all has to be the right thing, and it has to be the same level of quality that Cobra Kai is. Our minds are always thinking about Karate Kid, so that possibility is definitely out there. We know that Pat Morita loved the character. In fact, he had more ideas for films featuring Mr. Miyagi. 
The revelation was made by William Zabka during an interview with Colander. The actor played Johnny Lawrence in the first two Karate Kid movies and reprised the role in the Netflix follow-up series, Cobra Kai. This is what he said. I had so many people that had ideas for Johnny Lawrence. Actually, my favorite one was that Pat Morita himself had an idea. He wasn't done with Miyagi yet, and this is in his last years. He called me and he said, BZ, BZ, I have a great idea for Karate Kid 5. Miyagi's gonna die, and he wanted him to have a proper Okinawan burial. But while he's sick, he saw Johnny Lawrence as being his doctor. I thought this was interesting. That was probably the wildest idea I could ever imagine, and coming from Pat Morita, it was awesome. It seems like Pat Morita was a little ahead of the curve, with his idea to bring Johnny Lawrence in somewhat of a redemptive story arc, as Cobra Kai doesn't portray the character as an outright villain. While Morita sadly passed away in 2005, Ralph Macchio and William Zabka are continuing the Karate Kid legacy in the Netflix series. The show does a great job of delving into the adult lives of their characters. Daniel LaRusso and Johnny Lawrence while honoring the memory of Mr. Miyagi, and by extension, Pat Morita. I really wish you could be here right now. <laughs> are you a true fan of Cobra Kai? What do you think about all that? What are your expectations for season four? Would you be interested in a Cobra Kai spin-off focused on Mr. Miyagi's backstory work? Just share your thoughts in the comment section. Would you like to see Hilary Swank return to the Karate Kid franchise? What do you think about Terry Silver's return in the upcoming season of Cobra Kai? Tell us what you think in the comment section now. Well, obviously, we can't wait for the release of Cobra Kai Season 4. And that wraps it up for today's video. We love to mix a little bit of speculation with facts. Please let us know the theories you have about this upcoming season in the comments. And if you like this video and would like to hear from us again, click the subscribe button below leaving so we know that you enjoyed our video. Also, don't forget to go watch our other videos. See you next time. Show yourself.